The question says mass of KHC2O4. The name is given potassium acid oxalate. Required to reduce 100 ml of 0.02 molar KMN4, very strong oxidizing agent. In acidic medium, medium is also given there. You can see it is converting into Mn2 plus, that is correct. Okay. Is X gram for this substance mass of uh, KHC2O4 is given X gram. Okay. And to neutralize 100 ml of 0.05 molar calcium hydroxide is Y gram. Okay, when KHC2O4 is reacting with KMN4, its mass is X gram, and when this same substance is reacting with calcium hydroxide, its mass is Y gram. Okay, and we have to find you can see based on the option given there, we have to find out the relation between X and Y. Okay, there are two chemical reactions are taking place. We can write these two chemical reactions separately, okay, one by one. Okay, the first of all, we focus on the KMN4, reaction with KMN4. Okay, pay attention here. Potassium acid oxalate, from here we can get oxalate ion. And the chemical formula better, we can break it from here. So you will get, this is your hydrogen plus 1, potassium is also plus 1. So this side 2 pass 2 charge, other side 2 neg 2 charge. Then oxalate ion chemical formula we got C2O4, it is 2 minus is there. Very interesting. Okay. And uh, then we have... KMN4, it is reacting with KMN4. If you remember, if you remove the expected ion K+, plus, then I will get permanganate ion. Permanganate ion is what? MNO4, it is minus. Okay. Now, oxalate ion undergoing oxidation reaction always converts into carbon dioxide in which carbon is present in its maximum oxidation number. And MNO4 minus in acidic medium always converts into MN2+, plus, already given in the question. Our equation is ready. Okay. Our equation is ready. Very interesting. Now, uh, we can equate, we can see that based on the data, data is given only for this substance as well as for KMN4, for this substance as well as for the KMN4. So, we can equate their equivalence. We don't need to balance this equation. Okay. So, we have the formula, number of molecules of C2O4 to minus is equal to number of molecules of MN4 minus is there. Okay. And the formula of molecules, we have number of molecules milli equivalence based on the data we can apply milli mole milli mole multiplied by n factors and you can see since molarity is this we can also write one formula molarity multiplied by volume in ml and multiplied by n factor very interesting part okay so you can see in this case it is talking about the mass so i will apply milli moles multiplied by n factor in this case molarity is given in the question so i will apply mol molarity multiplied by volume in ml multiplied by n factor value based on the data provided we we can use the formula and whenever we use the molecules we always need to calculate n factor value because you can see n factor is there so let's calculate n factor value first of all we write down the oxidation number of same elements on both sides of the equation okay so 4 2 8 minus 2 is there 2 carbon is equal to plus 6 and 1 carbon is present in plus 3 oxidation number okay and uh, 4 2 8 minus is there it is present in plus 7 oxidation numbers 2 2 ja 4 carbon present in plus 4 oxidation number other side plus 2 is there always balance the number of atoms before balancing the charge how many carbon two carbon how many carbon only one carbon then i multiplied by two okay one carbon is plus three then two carbon will be what plus six oxidation number one carbon is plus four then two carbon will be present in plus eight oxidation number find the difference in oxidation number plus six other side plus eight eight minus six eight minus six is equal to two then n factor value for the oxalate and we got that is two very interesting part Okay, similarly for the permanganate ion, plus 7, other side is what, plus 2, 7 minus 2 is equal to 5, and factor value is 5. Now we can apply the formula, okay. For this, millimoles multiplied by n factor, n factor is known, okay. In this case, molarity is given here. So, molarity multiplied by volume in ML multiplied by N factor, N factor value, we have calculated already. So, let's uh, use the formula. We have millimoles. And keep in mind, 1 millimolo, one millimole is equal to what? 1000 multiplied by 1000 multiplied by mole. So, I can say 1000 multiplied by mole, 1 millimole. 1 millimole is equal to 1000 multiplied by mole and multiplied by N factor, that is 2. Okay. Other side. 
we are equating number of molecules number of molecules of oxalate ion is equal to number of molecules of per magnet ion pay attention carefully okay in this case we apply the formula molarity multiplied by volume in ml and then multiplied by ion factor what is the molarity given 0 0.02 0 0.02 is there multiplied by volume in ml 100 ml what is the ion factor value that is 5 is there okay mole we have moles moles are there moles so we can transfer this part other side 0 0.02 multiplied by 100 and multiplied by 5 is there divided by this will be 1000 and multiplied by it is 2 is there okay so this 2 0 this 2 0 will cancel out okay and then we have 5 to the 10 the 0 0.1 we are getting divided by 20 is there 20 okay now if you remove this so 0 will come it is 1 upon 200 is there 200 okay so moles of oxalate ion whenever it is acting with KMnO4 how many 1 upon 200 is there moles of okay mass of oxalate ion is given here mass of oxalate ion so I do one thing I can convert mole into mass okay so we have the formula mass is equal to mass is equal to mole multiplied by mole multiplied by molar mass is there molar mass molar mass is there molar mass okay so from here from here x value can be calculated what is the value of x now pay attention very carefully we have a oxalate and for this molar mass we can calculate so 2 carbon each carbon is what 12 plus 4 oxygen each oxygen is what 16 then we get what 24 and plus 64 is equal to 88 this is the molar mass of oxalate and gram per mole ok 88 ok apply this formula mass is x gram when oxalate ion is reacting with km4 its mass is x gram x is equal to mole how many 1 upon 200 is there 1 upon 200 and multiplied by 88 molar mass is there 88 so we keep 88 upon this is what 200 is there ok this is in gram we don't need to simplify we can calculate y value then we can compare these values let it be there ok now we go to the next condition pay attention carefully ok so next condition is easy because you can see oxalate ion is neutralizing because oxalate ion is we are getting from the oxalic acid means acid is reacting with the base acid base reaction is there because this is strong base so that's why neutralization word is used ok so oxalate ion is neutralizing 100 ml of 0 0.05 and calcium hydroxide keep in mind for calcium hydroxide what were the number of OH are there that is its n factor value so for this calcium hydroxide is what n factor value 2 so every data is known now we can simply uh, apply the formula ok sorry so we have a number of oxalate ion is equal to number of no number of molecules of oxalate ion is equal to number of molecules of calcium hydroxide same concept we use in the second case is there I'm talking about the second case okay the case 2 is there case 2 first case we we are done with so we have number of molecules number of molecules of oxalate ion C2O4 it is 2 minus is equal to number of molecules molecules of calcium hydroxide is there calcium hydroxide okay calcium hydroxide number of molecules of c2o4 2 minus okay so in this case you can see see the data first of all what is the data given okay so in this case uh, mass of oxalate ion will be y gram y gram is there okay y is there so we have millimoles in case of oxalate and in case of oxalate and we are using millimoles and one millimole is equal to what 1000 1000 multiplied by mole and and factor value already calculated and factor value is what a two other side number of millimoles of calcium hydroxide see the data molarity and volume is given here what is the molarity and volume molarity 0 0.05 volume is 100 ml okay, go back to the setup we have a molarity molarity is 0 0.05 multiplied by 100 ml and what is the n factor value 2 is there simplify moles you can calculate mole is equal to okay 0 0.05 multiplied by 100 and multiplied by 2 and divided by 1000 and multiplied by 2 2 2 will cancel and you can cancel here so from here we are getting 0 0.005 is there okay 0 0.005 and if you simplify decimals it will be 1000 will be there 5 to the uh, 10 so we are getting 1 upon 200 so you can see number of moles of oxalate ion in both cases is same only 
number of uh, moles of oxalate and because you can see this value is already given here in case of KMnO4 also we got the same number of moles 1 upon 200 here also we are getting 1 upon 200 number of moles of oxalate and consumed in the reaction is same then x and y value will also be same if you want to convert this this mole into mass you will get the same expression 88 upon 200 because molar mass of molar mass of oxalate ion is what 88 is there so we have the formula we can apply the formula formula is what we have mass is equal to mass is equal to mass is equal to mole multiplied by and molar mass is there molar mass that's what we have okay that's what and whenever oxalate ion is reacting with calcium hydroxide its mass is y y is equal to mole 1 upon 200 and multiplied by molar mass 88 so we are getting 88 upon 200 gram is this you can see x and y values are same okay x y values are same okay so reaction is different but the quantity of mass quantity of a oxalate ion is same x and y is same so that's why we are getting 